All right. Welcome, everyone. It's so nice to see a big crowd here. We're going to go ahead and get started. It is 9 a.m. So to start off with, I wanted to talk a little bit about this really unique event that Catherine put together. Yay! Uh, already getting rave reviews. Um, we've gotten a lot of really great reviews on Open Table, great verbal reviews, as you heard, applause in the room. So this was a Harvest Mocktail Dinner, and it was an alcohol-free event. Uh, we get a lot of feedback on our surveys where that um, we should do more events that are not just centered around alcohol. So Christopher, our lead bartender, partnered with Catherine and um, Scott, the sous chef, to create a really beautiful menu and selection of mocktails. We had a uh, roasted beet salad. Wait, let's go to the next one because I took pictures. So we had this really beautiful roasted beet salad. You can see um, the lemon zest on there, a really fresh, nice bite to get started off with our blackberry lemonade pairing that we did, blackberry uh, lavender lemonade. And then the second course was the Cornish game hen with brown butter gnocchi and wild crispy sage. And it, this went with our um, herb Collins which was sort of a twist on a Tom Collins with herb syrup, sour mix, soda water, and fresh lemon. And then for dessert, we had this really delicious chai spiced cider paired with our uh, pumpkin cheesecake with um, spiced whipped cream. So it was... <laughs> Yeah, I actually did get to sample some of the cheesecake and it it was remarkably delicious. <laughs> I really liked it. And the whole meal, everybody had a great time. So we're definitely going to be doing more of these. We got rave reviews about it. So I just wanted to share how amazing the rest of the team is and really focusing on putting together programming that is requested from you folks in the surveys. So we really try and listen to feedback on this. And these are the wonderful results. So thank you all for that. Speaking of which, uh, tomorrow is the last day to take your survey. A quarter of the residents have been sent uh, this round, and there will be a all-around survey at the end of the year. So if you didn't get a survey this time around, don't worry. You'll get a chance to reply. If you did get your survey, please fill it out with comments, either good or bad, before the 8th so that we can take a look at that. Uh, just a little food and beverage update. Uh, we are going to our winter hours. We started this actually at the beginning of the month, but um, instead of our last seating being at 9 p.m., our last seating will now be at 8 p.m. Wednesday through Saturday, and our Sunday hours are going to remain the same for 11 a.m. to 7 p.m., and we will still be having our Sunday breakfast on the last Sundays of the month. Yes, we will continue to do lunch. Uh, we will be opening at 11 a.m. still. So the opening time didn't change. Still got lunch going. Uh, we're just closing a little bit earlier. You know, sun goes down earlier. People are in bed earlier. It's just, just the way of the winter. Um, I just wanted to share with you folks today, we are doing our escape room. We do have one slot open. So if anyone has a wild hair today and wants to come along, please let me know. I'd love to add you to the list. We have a really fun group going and I am really excited to give this a shot. I've personally never done an escape room, but I think it's going to be a lot of fun to see if we can outsmart it. Uh, the solve rate on this is only 25%. So I don't know if we're going to be able to pull it off, but we're going to do our best. Um, as most of you know, Todd is moving on and being promoted to the lifestyle manager for the new Viterra uh, neighborhood. He's going to be doing a farewell hike on Monday the 9th. There are already 19 people signed up, so it's going to be a big group. If you want to join him, he is doing the Dewey Lake Trail. So there's still spots available if you want to register on MTL to join Todd for um, one of the final events that he's going to be doing here for us. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
So as far as we know, Todd will not be doing any events that coincide with us. It is a separate neighborhood and he is not going to be working on site here anymore. So um, although you may see him around occasionally, he will not be doing any more hikes or anything like that with us. We will still be doing our hikes and walks with Fawn. So there will still be opportunities for that. But otherwise, Todd is going to be quite preoccupied with his new position. All right, Paula has been doing <laughs> fall walks with the GM. I had to add this picture. Um, if you would like to join her, the next one is also on Monday the 9th. So if you're not going on the hike with Todd, maybe you wanna take a nice little fall stroll through the neighborhood. Hopefully the weather is nice, but if not, Paula will still be there. Make sure to check MTL for the locations of where to meet for these walks. We have two next week. So we have one on Monday the 9th and one on Friday, and they're both at 10 a.m. Tuesday is World Mental Health Day, and we are going to play a pre-recorded one day university presentation called The Power of Mindset. So the presentation describes cutting edge research on the power of one's mindset, literally meaning the setting of your minds towards a particular set of expectations and how it influences your thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. So it's all about um, pretty much the power of positive thinking and the power uh, that you have to improve your own personal mental health just by changing the way that you perceive things that are happening in your life. I'm gonna be serving some light snacks. It's just $5 to attend. So if you wanna come down and listen to this presentation with your neighbors, I think it will be really good for everyone. Thursday, we're having a hands-only CPR training. Uh, there are about 16 slots available uh, left for this. We currently have 88 people signed up. So <laughs> it's gonna be a big event. Uh, we've done this before, but I know that it's, um, Really great to have this training. I'm personally really excited to take the training. Although it isn't a certification class, it's always good to sort of know how to um, intervene in an emergency situation. So if you want to register, please do. There are only 100 spots available. So make sure that you get your spot before it sells out because I do um, anticipate that it will. Coming up is Craft Beer Week, and I have put together three different events for Craft Beer Week. So to kick off Craft Beer Week, I'm doing a cooking demo, and I'm going to be making soft beer pretzel nuggets and beer cheese. So if you'd like to sign up for that, it's $25. I'm going to be making the pretzels from scratch and the beer cheese from scratch. It should be a lot of fun. Uh, the... To cap off the week on Sunday, we are doing a paint your pint glass and we're going to be painting uh, pint sized beer steins. So it's gonna be a lot of fun if you wanna sign up, there's still spots left for that as well. And then in the middle of the week, Catherine and I have partnered on Craft Beer University. So it's going to be modeled after a wine university, but it's going to be with craft beer instead. Um, because of the special licensing that we have, um, we are not able to resell um, beer. So what we're doing instead is everyone that comes in is going to get a raffle ticket and we're going to pull five different winners and the winners are going to get a collection of the beers that we have all sampled. So people will still be able to walk away with some of the craft beer that they try. And we have uh, somebody from Half Lion Brewing coming down to teach us the basics of what craft beer is, how it is made. It's going to be really educational and a lot of fun. And there's going to be tasty snacks served as well. <clears throat> We just opened up reservations for Prime Rib Night. We're doing this on Tuesday, October 24th. Reservations begin at 4.30 p.m. and they can be made on open table or, or by calling or visiting the concierge desk. Um, so if you wanna join us for our Prime Rib Night, these are always a huge hit. Uh, we changed up a couple of things on the menu. We're serving a different veggie. We added rolls. So um, it's not the same every single time, but the prime rib is always delicious. So make sure you make your reservations while they're still available. 
Reservations for Monster Mash are open. We are, this is our annual Halloween party and it's going to be a lot of fun this year. We are having a costume contest and I will be choosing a winner in an individual costume contest category as well as a couple's costume uh, category. And when I say couple's costume, I don't mean that you have to be a romantic couple. You could absolutely put together a costume with one of your friends or something like that. Um, that will still be eligible. We are also having a carved pumpkin uh, competition. So I'm hoping that people will bring in their carved and or decorated pumpkins when they come and we'll put them on display. And there will also be a prize given to the best carved pumpkins. So we're really excited for this. We have a great DJ coming and it's going to be a great time as always. We're also doing trick or treat at the lodge again this year. Um, if you would like to sign up to host a table, then you should go on MTL and click on this event. Uh, we have three people signed up for tables right now. And basically what this is, is um, people bring in their grandkids and other children come from the larger Tahale neighborhood. And they come and they go through the grand living room and it's kind of like a, a stop trick or treat thing. So everybody has their own little station and most people dress up and it's just a really fun opportunity to get a bunch of kiddos in here and give away candy. Reservations for Thanksgiving are also open. These can also be made on open table. There are two seatings, one for 1 p.m. and one for 3 p.m. You can see the prices up there, $45.95 for adults, $17.95 for kids ages 6 through 12. So if you'd like to come and celebrate your Thanksgiving with us, make sure you get your reservations. They are going fast. All right, and we've got our coming up next week. Um, on Sunday, we have a women's health seminar and our Hocus Pocus movie night. Monday, as I mentioned, we have both the Walk with the GM and Todd's Farewell Hike. Tuesday is World Mental Health Day. We also have a cooking demo on that day and a sips and supper, so it's a busy Tuesday. Wednesday is happier hour, as always. Thursday is our hands-only CPR class and we're having locker member event in Hawk's Nest. And Friday is another walk with the GM. All right, does anybody have any questions, comments? Yeah. Um, I checked on One Day University last week. Everything seemed to be working just fine on my end. Um, if you are having trouble logging in, then you can let me know. Uh, we haven't been having a lot of engagement with One Day University. Um, I'm able to go in and look and see when the last person, when the last time people signed in was. So I've noticed that people are not really making use of it. And because it is a rather expensive um, subscription, we've decided that we're going to be ending our one day university relationship at the end of the year. That's interesting. It shouldn't be asking for your credit card. So if you're having that happen, then there's definitely something going wrong. If you wanna utilize it until the end of the year, um, I can sit down with you and help you. It's hard for me to troubleshoot just from my end because I'm not exactly sure what sort of prompts folks are getting um, to put in their credit card, but the um, subscription is paid for by us through the end of the year. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Well, um, I haven't heard many other complaints about that. Um, I do have one other couple that is having a similar issue, though. So it seems to be kind of hit and miss. Um, but as I said, if you want to come by, if anybody wants to come by and um, sit down with me, hopefully I'll be able to troubleshoot and get you in without getting or without having to give your credit card because it is a group subscription and it should be complimentary. So anything else? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
<clears throat> so we have the rest, sorry, excuse me. <laughs> We have the rest of October's classes covered by our other fitness staff, and we are currently working on hiring more fitness staff. We do not have anyone hired as of yet, and that's the only update I have. Paula is in charge of managing fitness at this time, so she's doing her best to get the word out there. And if anybody knows of anyone that is a fitness instructor and maybe wants to come teach a few classes, be sure to send them our way. We're always happy to, to interview some good candidates. Yes, through the end of October, yeah. Um, the fitness programming will be changing in November based on what we have. I know I've overheard a couple of meetings that Paula's having with our other fitness instructors on how to uh, make sure that we sort of fill in the gaps of what Todd used to teach. So we're definitely focusing on keeping, if not exactly the same, then very similar programming to what we had um, with Todd. Anyone else? All right, well, thank you all for coming today. It was nice to see everyone. Of course.